Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpacked Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record a Google Slides presentation. Following this process will allow you to record a Google Slides presentation right from within your web browser without the need for any extra third-party extensions or applications. This works on all computers on the desktop version of Google Slides and it's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. All right, so what I've got here is just a simple Google Slides presentation and I'm running it in Google Chrome because this will be the best experience for what you are trying to achieve. I'm not sure if it works in other web browsers. It probably does, but just to be safe, I'm using it on Google Chrome for this demonstration. And you can see here, I've got a couple of random example slides. I could apply a theme to it if I wanted to. Uh, maybe I'll leave it on that just to make it look a little bit nicer. And what you need to do is, um, if you want to record the Google Slides presentation, you can see that in the top right of the menu bar, there's a little record button. And if you hover over it, it says create and view recorded slideshows. So what you want to do is click on that and it will say video recordings. Create a recording of your presentation with your camera view embedded in your slides. And you can click record new video. Now, it may say at the start, camera and microphone are blocked. Um, it does require access to your camera and microphone, obviously, so that this process will work. So you may get a pop-up uh, by your system, whether it's Mac OS or Windows that brings it up, and you may also get it from your browser. So for me, I've got uh, saying Google Slides wants to use my microphone. I'm just going to click Allow on that. Uh, now, usually you'll get a pop-up by your operating system. In this case, I haven't because I've done this before. Um, so you can see up the top here, it's still blocked the microphone because it's been turned off in my Mac settings. So I'll click up there, click open settings, and then I'm just going to enable microphone access for Google Chrome. And it may need to be quit and reopen so that it works. So, um, I'll just do that now and then it will have the permissions. All right, so now that Google Chrome has reopened, I can go back up to the record button and click record new video again on my slides. It's now going to say that camera is blocked. Um, so what I can do is enable the camera, but that would be if I had a camera uh, because this is on my Mac mini. I don't actually have an external webcam uh, connected. So for this demonstration, I will not have a camera, but if you're using a laptop and you have a built-in webcam or you have an external webcam plugged in, it will ask the same process for camera access just like it did for the microphone and you'll do the exact same thing. So it'll be pretty self-explanatory. It'll show up on the screen and you can just click OK um, and allow those settings. Now, once you've allowed them, you'll end up in a view such as this. So you can see I've got my slides preview on the top. And then I've got a big record button down the bottom for when I want to start. You can also see that the microphone access is working because as I talk, you can see that this little graphic is responding and I can turn my microphone on or off. And if I had a camera, I could turn that on or off as well. Um, you can see I can also open the speaker notes in another browser if I would like to. So that works well as well. Now, these are the buttons for me to slide through uh, each different slide on the presentation so I can click through those like so and then when I'm ready to record I can just click start recording and then it will say allow docs.google.com to see this tab this site will be able to see the contents of this tab it just gives a bit of a warning it'll say also allow tab audio you want to allow that it may also ask for camera if you have that permission and then just click allow it will then give you a quick countdown and then it will say it is starting. Now you've got a 30 minutes max recording. And as you're going through each slide, you can just click through it and you'll see that it works just like so. And once again, you can go back. You can open the speaker notes again if you want. But all it is recording is just this little part that is highlighted in blue. And you'll see at the top it says sharing this tab, tab to docs.google.com. And at any time you can stop sharing. And it also gives you a warning that it is recording up the top as well. 
Now, if you were to have a camera view, you've got some different options for picture in picture. So this is picture in picture's position. So you can change it between each of the corners or you can just drag it to wherever you would like. And you can also change the size of picture in picture. So uh, how big it is. So that would be if you had a camera sort of webcam view, you could adjust those settings if you needed to. And then once you're sort of done with the recording, you've gone through your slideshow like so, um, and you've got enough length, you can see that that does have a progress bar to show how you're tracking. You can then just click the big stop recording button, and then you'll see that it stops, and then you can simply click save to drive if you're done, or you can re-record it if you're not happy with it. So I'm just going to click save to drive, it'll say uploading to drive in the bottom corner, and it says your recording is uploaded to drive. You'll then see that it starts processing the recording. So it may take a moment to process um, and it sits up in the recording section. So you'll see it's given me a time frame on that. And as I um, wait for it to process, you'll see that it has a little one up in the corner to show that there is one recording that has been done on this slideshow. And as I said, it may take a little while to process as it saves it to drive and makes it ready to be viewable. So this could take anywhere between a couple of minutes to maybe half an hour. Um, I, don't ex I wouldn't expect it to take longer than half an hour to process, but just sort of depends on how long the video is and also the quality of your internet connection. So yeah, that's a pretty simple process on how to record in Google Slides on your computer. As I mentioned before, it doesn't matter whether you're using Mac or Windows. Um, it probably does work best in the Google Chrome browser, but I believe this would probably work in other browsers as well. Um, I just haven't personally tested that, but for the sake of simplicity, I think Google Chrome probably is the way to go for this process. And if you have any other questions about this process, just let me know down in the comments below. And also if you have any other video suggestions for me, because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. You can see here it has now brought up the video recording. So it's got um, the name of it, which is just the name of my slideshow. And it's put a little one. It's got HD there. And I can click on it to play it or I can click the all options to rename it, remove it or copy the link. If I, if I click the play button, it will then open it up in my Google Drive and you'll see that I'll be able to play it like so. I'll just mute the recording, um, but as I drag through it, you can see at the start when I was flicking through the slides, uh, when I click play, give it a moment here, you'll see that has been recorded. Uh, interestingly, you can actually see the mouse cursor on your slides, so, um, you can see that my mouse was flying around the slides there. So I, um, that's interesting that that gets recorded. Just make sure that you are aware of that. Otherwise, you will have your cursor flying around and you may not want it to. So uh, that's definitely something to be aware of. But it has recorded it in 1080p, which is good. So you're getting full high definition recordings here. And it's much better than the old way of having to use a third party app. And sort of it was a little bit of a mess and not as a, much of a smooth process. So that's really good. And then you can download that at any time and do other things like that. So that was actually pretty quick to process. So I'm pretty happy with that. And at any time you can record a new video again. You can make as many videos as you want in here. And then if you need to delete it because you're not happy with it, then you can go ahead with that as well. If I just reopen it one more time, I'll just confirm that the audio is working. And it is starting. Now you've got a 30 minutes max recording. And as you're going through each slide, you so you can see there that you can hear my voice. So the recording was indeed working, even though I was also screen recording this screen at the same time. So that's pretty good that that all worked out like so. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in managing to record your Google Slides presentation. Thanks again for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.